Bates, Rachel O'Reilly, Ed Sample, Mel Gedroy, Johnny Vegas, Carol Vorderman, Josh Whitaker, Natalie Cassidy, Tony Law, Humphrey Carr, Rob Beckett, Holly Walsh, David O'Doherty, Tess Daly, Joe Wilkinson, and their team captain, John Richardson. And facing them tonight, Lewis Smith, Melanie C, Mickey Flanagan, John Hanna, Nicola Adams, Stephen Mangan, Andrew Maxwell, Vernon Kay, Joe Lyson, Mick Howe, Bobby Mayer, Louis Spence, Kenny Ben, Preston Blumenthal, Stephen Graham, Catherine Ryan, and their team captain, John Locke. Now, let's be our host, Jimmy. Hello and welcome to 8 out of 10 Cats Best Bits, a show all about opinion polls, surveys, statistics and more of the best bits from this series. Did you know, for example, 25% of people do their weekly online shop whilst in bed? I do. It helps me remember what we need. Meat, two veg, dumplings, a couple of baps. 65% <laughs> of people think Britain is a great place to live. And that's a survey of people hanging on to the undercarriage of the Eurostar. <laughs> And 94% of men consider themselves romantic. I'm really romantic. I often stand under my girlfriend's window and serenade her with my guitar. I say my girlfriend, it's the woman next door. I say serenade, I mean stare. And also, that's not a guitar I'm holding. <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> What are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. It's our panellist's job to guess the British public's top three most popular talking points. John Steen, what do you think people have been talking about over the last week? Oh, I forgot for that. <laughs> do you think I the pressure so was nervous, on? I thought you were going to ask me first. <laughs> I, I just you get so nervous in that moment. I go, who's he going to ask first? And you ask John. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not Sean and the twins. <laughs> We don't look like twins, we look like finalists in a what's Mika going to look like in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> John Steve, what do you think people have been talking about over the last week? One of our MPs, uh, Nadine Doris, has yes. decided the best way she can get ahead as a politician is to go into the jungle. And eat kangaroo testicles. <laughs> she's decided to enter I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, and not spotted that she's an MP, and it's not called I'm an MP, I should probably do some work. <laughs> Since taxpayers pay me to do my work. So she's gone out there. She's al I've already seen enough of her. It hasn't even started. <laughs> I've already seen pictures of her Topless. sunbathing in the nude. And her breasts are actually a very good analogy for the coalition, because they appear to be a partnership, and yet they're putting as much distance between themselves. <laughs> Would you do it? Yes. No way. I hate spiders. I hate moths. Moths? Moths! moths. <laughs> it's just a black oh, and white off you now. <laughs> you hate moths? It's just a black and white butterfly. <laughs> I got home the other day, right, and I saw this massive moth, right, in my bathroom. You saw a moth in your bathroom? Yeah, right? I needed to have a shower and I was too scared to go in. So what I did is I went in with this You're super... You're too scared? I went into the bathroom, right, with this super strong hairspray. What? <laughs> Seriously. Sprayed and you did this the moth. moth's hair? No. <laughs> I sprayed this moth, shut the door, waited for a minute, saw it on the floor, sprayed it, and then literally oh. crucified it like it was just stuck. <laughs> Poor moth is there. He's blind. He ain't blind. Is he blind? Yes. Now you feel bad, don't you? <laughs> Basically, you've gone up to a blind person and just <laughs> sprayed <laughs> hairspray in their face. <laughs> Carol, would you ever go into the jungle? What would it, what would it take? No, I wouldn't go into the jungle. Do you get offered it every year? Yeah. Every Should year I tell you call? how much they offered me yeah, this yeah, year? Yeah, 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 of course. £250,000. £250,000? And you went, no, I'm not doing it, not no. worth it. Can I go dressed I'll go as tomorrow. you? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was £250,000. I'm not very good with numbers. 25. <laughs> was in the hundreds. Even it's if it's 25. I'd eat the whole kangaroo. I'd start at its yeah. feet and just eat... <laughs> I'd eat its fur, its face. I'd eat, <laughs> I'd eat the whole kangaroo. <laughs> I'd let the kangaroo eat my ball. 
Charles. <laughs> the, the Starbucks, the coffee people. <laughs> you know, I've been at naughty. naughty. What have they done? The Starbucks. What have they done? <laughs> <laughs> what have they done? They've Nothing. been at it, haven't they? They've been, not been paying tax. They don't pay any tax. They managed to sell. <laughs> 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 They've managed to make their books appear that they're losing money, and basically what they do is they, they take the losses from other countries and lump them onto the business here. It's endemic. It's not just the company as well, some of the staff as well. Look. How did you do that? Earlier this year. Just after a meeting with their accountant. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> they are one of the few places you can have a coffee and watch women getting their tits out. <laughs> there's, there's a mother's breastfeeding, we think. In my one, where, where I am, there's, like, a, a thing there and there's all bushes on it, and when the breastfeeding mothers come in, you can just peep through the bushes <laughs> like that. It's almost like they're saying, oh, go on, enjoy your coffee. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just don't... Do you know that this is being recorded? <laughs> Sean, what else have the nation been talking about this week? Oh, <laughs> the Tory party conference. Oh, you love it. I was marvelled at the... It, just, it was brilliant, wasn't it? Did you enjoy it? Oh, the part when I came on. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. I didn't see that, so I missed that bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really do any research. <laughs> Sorry. Did you, did you, did you, what part were you on? Uh, yeah, I just, you know, I came on and talked about my story in the games and uh, my family came on as well and talked about what it's like to raise a champion. Right. Who did you meet? Uh, Tessa Jowell and um, oh, Jonathan Edwards. Yeah. She's quite, she quite a nice person, actually. Tessa Jowell's Labour, I think. Theresa yeah. May's Tory. Theresa May. I don't even know she they made a big impression on you, anyway. <laughs> 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 yeah. Are you sure you were at the Tory conference? It, you know, it might, it might have been the, the Labour. Might be one. <laughs> Okay, Johnson, what else have the uh, nation been talking about over the last year? Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a seance, man. <laughs> <laughs> what have the nation been talking about over the last year? <laughs> <laughs> just really hurt my head. That's it. 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 That's uh, well, it can't all be fun, can it? The mm. Levis and the, uh... <gasps> <laughs> One of his comments was like a Yoda thing. He said, who should guard the Guardians? Not no one. <laughs> Might as well have commissioned Yoda. Who should look after him? Not no one. <laughs> well, poss possibly someone then. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Waste of money. Or is he more like a Dalek? Hang on. I like the way we get into the heart of the issue here. <laughs> 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 he said like this. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Sean. Yeah. Sean, what have the nation been talking about over the last year? Well, come out on the steps and just said, instead of having go at the press in any way, you should have just said, celebrities, royals, behave yourselves. Yeah. Mm. And that way, he'd have said, we won't even need to report on you. <laughs> None of this would have happened. Because you can't do this sort of stuff on British Bake Off. <laughs> you can't, during the judging of a cake, you can't go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's incredible that he's still. Mel's about to make a serious point. There's no way. Brace There's yourselves. No way you can... <laughs> what I want to know is, though, it happened to so many people, this hacking business. How. It must be. But it must be quite easy to do. So, how do you hack? 
someone's call. How do you do it? It's obviously quite easy. My dad used to hack into my calls back in the 1970s by lifting the receiver on the other phone in the house. With his talons. So I'd be... <laughs> so I would be in the hall... I'd and then he would fly off with it. <laughs> Your dad's a griffin, yes? He's a griffin. I'd be... See oh. me! <laughs> I'd be downstairs on the trim phone in the hall <laughs> and my I'd be going... Your dad would be on his perch. And <laughs> I can tell you it's not one of the most talked about things. But yes, the Levinson inquiry was all over the papers. After thousands of hours, hundreds of witnesses and millions of pounds, the Levinson inquiry came to one inescapable conclusion. Piers Morgan is a Um, the guy who um, did the nearly marathon fall skydive thing. <laughs> the guy who did the nearly marathon but thing skydiving. But it was 24 miles, thing. wasn't it? it, it well, it was, so it's yeah, nearly a marathon, isn't it? It was 23 miles up, though, that's not... I mean, traditionally how a marathon is run... <laughs> I know, but it's the same I near the mileage. I could do a marathon like that. You just dropped me from 26 miles. <laughs> I reckon I'll break the world record as well. <laughs> yeah, like that. Suck on that, Paula Radcliffe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that. <laughs> Beforehand on the news, they were saying if, if the suit fails, if the suit fails, his blood is going to boil and his eyes will pop out of his head. And you're going, wow, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Well, Nothing. if you paid that much for a suit and it didn't work, my blood would boil as well. <laughs> I was hoping that they got the, they got the calculations wrong, and then when he let go, they got the gravity calculation where he'd gone up and stuck to the moon. <laughs> 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 or a trampoline at the bottom. He could just a bounce trampoline. He could, have, <laughs> he could have broken the record twice if he'd had a trampoline. He'd have or, or when he jumps out of that thing, there's somebody in there and they push an anvil out after him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a race to the ground. Yes, Austrian skydiver Felix Baumgartner became the first man to break the sound barrier by skydiving from 24 miles up. No human has travelled as fast unassisted since 1978 when Jimmy Savile heard St Mary's School Choir were going on top of the pops. <laughs> Another Bond movie? Yeah! Another one. Bond you don't sound excited. Oh, we've got Homeland now. We don't need Bond anymore. You've got Homeland, yeah. we don't need Bond? Yeah. Homeland's way better than the Bond what? movies. <laughs> what are you saying? Recently, oh, it's darker and grittier. Oh. It'd, be, it'd be darker if he had to get Ryanair flights everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Bond kneeling beside the check-in desk, stuffing underwear in his pocket. <laughs> 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 My tip for a film, if you're making a film and you get a theme tune, get someone to sing the theme tune who can pronounce some of the words that are in the theme tune. What's, she, what's your issue with the theme tune? She cannot speak. <laughs> Is this Adele? Lovely Adele. I won't Lovely have a word said against her. Adele, what or as I'm sure she says it, Adele. <laughs> <laughs> Three times I heard it, I thought it was a song about scaffold. Scaffold. <laughs> <laughs> I put forward a Bond theme and they didn't go for it. <laughs> well, well, that's a shame. What was what was yours? Bond on a bike. Bond on a boat. <laughs> Bond with his hands around a villain's and throat. Skyfall. Skyfall. <laughs> Skyfall, Skyfall! Da 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 da! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> well, the interesting news this week is Lord McAlpine, I guess, yeah. who's suing all of Twitter. He's suing 10,000 Twitter users who basically wrongly outed him as a paedophile. And the good news about it all is that Sally Burkow has been forced to close her Twitter account. <laughs> so Lord McAlpine, he's received £185,000 from the yeah. BBC and £125,000 from ITV. It's a lot of fuss, isn't it? He's made a lot of fuss. For £185,000, you can call me a paedophile for a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, Newsnight, treat yourselves. <laughs> You're on Twitter, Twitter, Melanie, aren't you? I was kind of forced into tweeting because when you're, you know, when you're promoting something, this social media, it's kind of 
that's what it's there for, you know, let people know what you're doing. But then when you start doing that, people slag you off. And it's like, well, isn't that what There's a weird thing, yeah, when you go, yeah, my new record's out tomorrow, and people yeah. go, oh, yeah, oh, you're just God, trying to sell God records. Sake, uh. Why do you think I'm doing yeah. this? <laughs> what do you think I'm doing here? <laughs> What's the new album called? It's called Stages. Stages? Yeah. I hate it. Do you know, it's so funny, isn't it? You hate it? No, no, no. <laughs> 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 it's probably not that bad, ladies and gentlemen. Give it a go. No, it's weird, cos you, you do all this shit, don't you, to promote stuff? This is oh, not <laughs> shit! <laughs> what do you think, Sean? Britain is finally out of double-dip recession. <laughs> the recession is over! <laughs> it's out of recession. And, boy, does that make me feel good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, uh, GDP has grown by 1% in the third quarter of this year. Most so... people don't even know what GDP is. What? Do you know what GDP is? Oh, sure. What is it? Well, gross domestic product. Yeah, but, but what is that? What is... Well, the gross <laughs> domestic product. Yeah, what is... It's like the in... things that we make in houses that are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it is a coincidence, isn't it, that someone started paying tax again and the country's out of recession. You're welcome. <laughs> the worst thing about the recession is I read this week, Argos is closing stores and they're no. going digital. No more Argos catalogues. What am I supposed to do in the toilet? <laughs> There's no Argos catalogue to play the Argos game where you flick through and you go, yeah. ah, 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 treadmill. <laughs> the joy for me with the Argos was that it's, it was, it's like a shop, but much more like a bookie's in that you study the form <laughs> and you're like, I'm going to take a punt on that. <laughs> now, please, they go over to the big screen. You're like, come on, 167. <laughs> <laughs> From a sporting perspective, it, it's got to be the fantastic Swedish goal uh, scored by Ibrahimovic against England. Johnny, what's the thing that you're proudest of? Because I imagine that'll be, for the rest of his life, that'll be the moment he's most proud of. For me, genuine, like? Yeah. You really want to know? Yeah. One time I told a builder to fuck off with a quote. One time you... A builder came round with a quote and I just opened the door. <laughs> I was in the early stages of pissing myself and I went, just fuck off. <laughs> I didn't even discuss it with him. He came round and went, it's going to be about when just fuck off. <laughs> I was in the early stages of pissing myself. <laughs> it's the funniest phrase I've ever yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did you open the door then? No, cos he went, cos... Polite. Cos, right, I actually thought he might have a good quote and I wouldn't mind pissing myself for the... <laughs> They actually squeeze the end of my penis and run to the toilet. <laughs> you could start a proper rapper war. I could do that. I could start a war. I I'm... could do it more directly. Go on, then. Just look down the lens and say, Oi, rappers, suck my balls. <laughs> Except you. You don't have to suck my balls. I'm more of a singer anyway. You're a singer. So What's a rapper, then? Rappers just, um... What's a rapper? <laughs> 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 he's in his cardigan there. He's having a bag of ticket. What do you need to know? <laughs> Tell me. They're just rapping. <laughs> when does a rap become a song? Are you serious? <laughs> it's sort of. Do you, know, do you know the difference between Jay Z and Beyonce and what they do? I know the difference well, in One's to a know. mummy and one's a daddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awful. If, if I say, like, uh, I went to the shop and got some chips. <laughs> You can't get chips from a shop. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to rain anyway? Chips in the shop don't rain. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, only the, that's only the first well, line. Get the, get the next line out. Go on. <laughs> Go on. You went to the shop and bought some chips. Yeah. Then I got some ketchup and other dips. <laughs> There's a new TV show, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a brand new they, show. They call it The X Factor. <laughs> right. And they get these singers, and I, I mean, it's too early to tell what's going to happen next. <laughs> also, you use the word singers in inverted commas. Yeah. <laughs> I've stopped doing them, I just do it with my speech now. These, these singers, or professional crying penises. <laughs> 
crying already. It's going to get worse. I wouldn't drink the water around the X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they put something in the tea, and you can get the most hard-hearted person. Well, drink the tea and just go. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a pigeon. <laughs> If there is a drink that makes you cry, it's almost certain that Heston made it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a special type of tea that brings melancholy. <laughs> it, and it's actually made with melons and collie dogs. <laughs> <laughs> of course it bloody is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Don't they just call that, like, red wine? Isn't that what you drink to cry? I drink red wine, I'd bore my eyes out for no reason whatsoever. Yeah. What have you got to cry about? All your dreams have come true. <laughs> <laughs> you don't your know what my dreams are. Your you sock drawers are immaculate. <laughs> You've you got a cardian, people listen to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely got to be the X Factor, hasn't it? The, the dodgy, dodgy yeah. decision with Louis. There was a dodgy decision with Louis. Yeah. What, what? Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, what did Louis do? Tell me the story. Um, apparently, uh, one, of the, one of the producers came up to him on stage and um, was whispering something in his ear, and then he changed his mind about his decision. He said, uh, they're in your dressing room and they're ready to go. <laughs> nachos, I meant nachos. <laughs> I don't know if you're familiar with X Factor, what it is, basically, if you were Simon Cowell, then Britain is a warm apple pie. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a bit of it, and Gary Barlow says to one of the contestants, like, who's going to buy your records? And the, obviously the contestants too nervous to say, they just went... <laughs> but what they should have said was, the same fucking idiots that buy yours. <laughs> So those were the most talked about things this week. But in other news, Cheryl Cole has revealed she needed vitamin jabs in her bum to cope after Ashley Cole's infidelity. I don't know if the jabs worked or not, but can I just say to Cheryl Cole's doctor, high five. <laughs> the Church of England have announced the Bishop of Durham is to become the new Archbishop of Canterbury. He's made up, as is, his religion. <laughs> And I hit the headlines in June. When I got the message the papers had been calling, I jumped into action, started hitting my laptop with a hammer and digging up the patio. And then I found out something about tax. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for part one. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to AI 10 Cat's Best Bits. Our next round is Pick of the Polls. Most people love being the centre of attention, true or false? False. Who would want to be centre of attention? <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, of all the people you know, Sean, mm. who would want to be centre of attention? <laughs> Are you all... <laughs> Sit still, Louis. I, I'm, I don't mean to draw attention to myself or anything. I mean, really! <laughs> 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 I don't think he can get up now. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I've got early onset Alzheimer's. <laughs> what about you, Joe? Do you enjoy the limelight? Y yes and no, because there's good attention and bad attention, isn't there? But I was going into um, Little, I love Little, and this old lady came out with her husband, and she looked at me for, like, about ten seconds, which was a bit too long. And then so I was like, oh, I'm being recognised. And then after ten seconds, she turned to her husband and went, we forgot to buy faggots. <laughs> <laughs> LAUGHTER Most people would rather host a house party than go to one. True or false? I don't go to many house parties anymore. I go to a lot of four, fourth and fifth children's birthday parties these days. I don't have kids. I just <laughs> prefer the food and games they play. I like all the stuff about parties. I like doing a big shop and putting loads of nibbles out. And then I always this is true, I genuinely realise I haven't really invited anyone. Because <laughs> I don't really like people in my house. 
<laughs> it's that bit when you go to text people and you say, oh, I don't like you. Uh, I don't mind you, but not in my house. <laughs> if I invite you, I'll have to invite him. Yeah, and you'll bring your girlfriend and touch each other and talk about it. <laughs> Come to my house and fiddle in my conservatory, not on my snacks. <laughs> You want to be in love, you stay at home and cater for yourself. <laughs> Bloody travelling chef for your sex games. <laughs> Don't put that on the invite, though. 28% <laughs> of people think the government is hiding evidence of aliens. You shouldn't even be saying that. <laughs> for Christ's sake, Jimmy, that stuff should be kept under wraps. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you the truth that? is out there. Doof, doof, doof. <laughs> Man, you can't put that shit out there and blow their fucking minds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, They're not no. ready for it, Jimmy. I can't believe you said it. <laughs> Do you believe in aliens, Molly? I don't, and anyone who does is a knobhead. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you've got a sound problem. Hang on, what's, that, what's the sound problem? We got well, obviously, sound? that's they're trying to shut us down, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> no. no, you're not fucking taking me! Whose mic is it? It's, it's Sean's mic. Oh, it's mic. You just saw it, innit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if this isn't proof of what I've been saying... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's shut Sean up. Twenty-eight percent of people think the government is hiding evidence of aliens. True or false? We think it's true. Okay, you think true? What are you going to go for, Sean? It doesn't matter what we say; it'll be covered up. <laughs> <laughs> They'll change my words to say what they want me to say. <laughs> what you want in there? Say that. <laughs> sure. Put your life in there. <laughs> yeah. Most people think they could become an Olympic athlete if they trained every day for four years. True or false? That's a great question. Thanks. <laughs> I've been working on it, I'm really thinking about it. <laughs> Could you be an Olympic athlete? Four, four years is loads, isn't it? Four years is, four years is way too much to be training. What, well, you think you'd go over the Olympic standard and just give up? <laughs> you go, well, this is crazy, I'm too good at this. Then, then, then Jamaicans learned how to bobsled in under 90 minutes, didn't they? So... <laughs> Most British people judge others by their accent, true or false? What, what do you think, Henning? Do, do you think people judge you? Cos you've got a bit of an accent, haven't you? I've got a bit of an accent. <laughs> Definitely, there is a certain degree of judgement. I recently did a gig up in Bolton and I got heckled with that wonderful line, Fuck off, back to London! Ten years! Ten years of listening to Chaz and Dave finally paid off. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, what, what do you think? Do you think British people judge others on their accent? Oh, well, I mean, I judge people long before they've opened their mouths. So... <laughs> <laughs> Saves a lot of time, They're doesn't straight it? Straight in there. Yeah. yeah. Johnny, do you think anyone ever judges you by your accent? Yeah, of course you do. It's not your accent, Johnny. It's the bollocks you talk. <laughs> <laughs> I know that I'm judged by my accent because there's certain letters, there's certain uh, vowels that I miss out. There's whole words you miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, sorry, Jimmy, <laughs> when I run over you later. <laughs> <laughs> Most women are more attracted to a geek than a tough guy, true or false. <gasps> what do you think, Catherine? I think we want the same thing men want. It's like a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets. I want, like, a sister Sorry, what is that that we want? A, a lady in the streets? You don't even know what you want. Men. <laughs> men want... No, I think you've just nailed exactly what I want. I'm going to write it down. <laughs> <laughs> a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets. Yes. I want the opposite. Really? I want someone that will go straight off to sleep and then be mental in the street. I want <laughs> men. <laughs> See you after the break. Welcome back to AR10 Cats Best Bits, and the winner is is the name of our final round. Best way to cheer yourself up. Jason, how do you cheer yourself up if you're feeling down? Am I allowed to say? <laughs> <laughs> 
was going to say Kinder Eggs. But... <laughs> Chocolate and a toy, yes, please. <laughs> Still like a Kinder Egg. The toys are shit now, though. Yeah, I know, but we are adults now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sexiest celebrity chef. <laughs> uh, Heston I'm is a on. very acceptable eighth. <laughs> eighth. <laughs> this is this is just on on sexiness. Heston would be the most interesting to have sex with, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Take your clothes off. I'm going to go and dip my cock in well, li he's... liquid nitrogen. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> And you're renowned for cooking unusual dishes. Calf's brain custard. Yes, that's for a TV show. Is, was it any good? Actually, calf's brains themselves don't taste so much. They're very creamy and pasty. Yeah, I think it's a waste of a calf's brain making custard out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just like it raw, straight out of the calf's head. <laughs> <laughs> was that like a boiled egg? <laughs> <laughs> Once you eat half of it, he calms down. <laughs> Coolest job. Window cleaner. <laughs> it's that bit when you know when the windows all they've sponged it all and it's all messy and then they get the squeegee. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a round window, I'll get right round it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face! What about, what about at the beginning when they toss the whole bucket all over the window? Oh, <laughs> oh nice big window like that, excuse me. Oh, it's, it's filthy, that window, John. <laughs> it's fil there's, there's grime's been caked on there for months. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dribbling down at the sides. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's getting down onto the window below, and that's even dirtier. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Oh, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Sorry. In fairness, you forgot about the most beautiful part of window cleaning, cos I used to uh, be a window cleaner. You go up, into the corner, down, round, right, and then, and then you... Rush then it, man. Two, two little flicks. <laughs> you, you flick to the side once, bang. You flick to the other side, bang. Until, in the end, you end up with a little arc of foam there. And there's a final little <laughs> pull away, chamois out, lively. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Most annoying thing about going to the cinema. I, I personally happen to enjoy them, but I feel like a lot of people complain about the previews, you know? I get annoyed but I get the previews or trailers as we call them. Yeah, trailers, uh, because yeah. that's what they're called. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I get annoyed when there's a trailer for something that's better than the thing I've gone to see. So you sort of you going, oh, why have I come and see this? That yeah. looks amazing. Yeah, usually it's because it hasn't opened yet, is why. <laughs> <laughs> because, it's a, because it's a preview. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Best thing about a British holiday. Since I moved here, for me, all of Britain is like a holiday, which is exciting. I live near this place, the Brixton McDonald's. I don't know if anyone's been there. I think it's but... just called McDonald's in Brixton. No. <laughs> and it's great, because if I'm ever feeling like, oh, what am I doing with my life? I just go to the Brixton McDonald's at four in the morning, and then I'm like, I'm doing fine. <laughs> I got a 50 pound fine there for putting out a cigarette out on the ground. And it's like, really, that's the thing you're focusing on here? <laughs> like, there's the team from The Wire dealing drugs all around me, and the guy's like, why didn't you just put it in the bin? There's a man shitting in the bin! <laughs> I'll tell you why I like a British holiday is seeing the look of disappointment on your family's face <laughs> when you tell them where we're going. And then you laugh like that. <laughs> no hook. <laughs> Worst thing about doing DIY. See, I find a bit of DIY quite therapeutic. I enjoy it. What I mean, was the last bit of DIY? Home you did? improvement. I enjoy the aesthetics, you know, but Do you I, mean I enjoy. buying cushions? Yeah. <laughs> That's not DIY. Buying <laughs> cushions. <laughs> it's improving yeah. the home. Yeah, I bought some cushions. So... Oh, exhausted. <laughs> I like it personally. I don't see the problem. What was the last thing you built? It was a, a white unit from IKEA, and uh, you... do it yourself. 
Yeah, but you drink your way, drink through it. That's the thing that I don't understand. Why, do, why isn't everybody drunk making things? The worst thing about Ikea is you're not allowed to punch people in the back of the head. <laughs> why do they walk so slow? Get through! I don't, I don't call it Ikea. I call it IKEA! <laughs> and they say, can you keep it down? I say, look how big you've written it. <laughs> <laughs> you write it that big. <laughs> that big, I say. Well, that sound tells me it's the end of the round and the end of the show. <laughs> Thanks to all our panellists, our wonderful studio audience, and all of you for watching at home. That's it from us. Good night.